The story is being spread, claiming Edward Snowden, the NSA whistleblower, has released information about HARP, the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, the weather modification device, the mind control machine that beams uh, radio frequency waves into the atmosphere. Uh, this story is false. It stems from a satire website, the Internet Chronicle, claiming that Edward Snowden had revealed documents about HARP. And uh, just a simple Internet search here reveals that countless people picked up the story without doing 10 seconds worth of research on it. Snowden reveals HARP's assassination agenda. You know, Snowden, Snowden discusses HARP chemtrails secret base. Links included. You know, he just goes on and on and on. Snowden on what HARP has in store for us. Yeah, but if you were to actually just, you know, cross-reference, fact-check, you would have realized that this same website has documents or stories claiming that Snowden has revealed a second shooter in the Zimmerman case, revealing that this is a clear satire joke website. Um, but many people were duped and will continue to be duped by this fake no-name website that you know, I'm sure the author just started posting the links around. Um, you know, giving fake quotes, attributing fake quotes to Edward Snowden. Now, HARP, the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, has allegedly, according to the government, just been shut down. They said, just don't worry about it anymore. They don't have the money, and they just closed the facility. Um, most likely, just a cover story, the technology probably got so advanced that they just built a smaller version or a newer, more updated version at a different facility at a different location they probably have little portable harp ray guns now what harp does it does a variety of different things but scientists claim that it can geoengineer that it can um, cause weather weapons cause tsunamis cause earthquakes the history channel even did a story about this t on a series called that's impossible weather warfare and jesse ventura's show conspiracy theory also covered this and what is also interesting is that HARP could probably sp uh, beam voices into people's heads. I covered this before. I'll cover it again in case you missed it. This is an actual patent at the United States Patent and Trademark Office filed in 1996 by the United States Air Force for what is called the radio frequency hearing effect, where they can beam sounds and voices into people's heads from extremely long distances and they demodulate in the inner ear so that the people targeted the listeners the audience cannot tell where the sound is coming from so when you have a television on or when your phone rings your stereo phonic ears can sort of triangulate and hone in on the general direction of where the sound is coming from but using the radio frequency hearing effect sometimes called the microwave hearing effect they can beam voices, sounds, whatever they want to, into people's heads and just make it think that, uh, you know, God's talking to you. A lot of people have come forward claiming to be targeted individuals, TIs, who believe that they have been harassed and victims of, uh, or test subjects, guinea pigs, by such a device. And the Satanist Michael Aquino, who was a former lieutenant colonel in the United States Army, wrote this paper from PSYOP to Mind War detailing how it was a good idea, he believed, to uh, use a device like HARP to beam waves into the population's brains in order to sedate or calm large numbers of people. Yeah, this is a publicly available white paper where he just says extremely low frequency waves up to 100 hertz are... Uh, you know, they're not noticed by the unaided senses, but their resonating effect on the human body has been connected to both physiological and emotional distortion. Infrasonic sound can subliminally influence brain activity. And he says here that uh, inclining, inclining an audience to anything from alertness to passivity, where he says it can endure for great distances, can endure for great distances, and it could be used in conjunction with media broadcasts as well. Oh, that's great. Oh, they would never do that, right? They would never plan that. Oh, 
Here's a Washington Post article from 1999 where the it was uncovered that the government had planned to uh, make God appear in Baghdad and then use this technology uh, to make it appear as if God was talking to the population, urging them to overthrow Saddam Hussein in Baghdad in the 1990s. They planned on doing this in Cuba as well to try to convince the Cubans to overthrow Fidel Castro. And this same technology could very well be used to fake the return of the Christ, the appearance of the Antichrist, just to, just to talk to everybody, make it think that God's talking to them and announcing that Jesus has returned. Go ahead and worship Barack Obama. Worship this Bilderberg beast. It's God. And much of the people will be tricked. Much of the people just can't even fathom, can't even understand, don't even want to believe that this kind of technology exists or that the elite would ever use it for such a thing, even though they you know, drew up plans for a holographic projector described in a classified Air Force document to project informational power from space for deception missions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Michael Aquino, by the way, the guy that wrote this, like I said, he, he, he's a Satanist. Hardcore Satanist, member of the Church of Satan, former member of the Church of Satan, broke away because it just wasn't satanic enough. So then he started the Temple of Set. Set's the Egyptian name for Satan. This was published in 1980, you know, 10 years before HARP was created. So then it looks like the government just decided to build a facility to be able to do that. But um, this Washington Post article says that they could most likely do it from satellites or from Mobile, portable technology. This kind of technology may have been used to trick Khalid Sheikh Mohammed into believing that God had appeared to him in his jail cell because some reports claim that he was defiant up until he believed that God, Allah, appeared to him in his jail cell and then ordered him or you know, convinced him to cooperate with his captors. So it's not that far-fetched to believe that our friends at uh, the Guantanamo Bay or wherever he was being held uh, used this kind of technology just you know, from a jail cell next to him and just beamed it into his cell and had somebody on a microphone talking as if they were God, convincing Khalid Shaitan that it was Allah talking to him. And how would he know any different? You know, if you weren't aware of this technology and you started to hear something like that and they said that they were God, I mean... Most people are going to believe that that's what it is. That's why I'm covering this story, because this very technology may be used to try to dupe the population into believing that the Illuminati counterfeit Christ is the real deal. Could very well be used in a fake alien invasion as well. I'll cover that in a different video in more detail. But uh, just so you know, Edward Snowden, the NSA leaker, did not release any information on HARP. And the government is putting out the story that HARP is shut down. So just don't even worry about it. And uh, a quick search on the internet reveals that a lot of people fell for the Snowden HARP story, revealing their inability to fact check, revealing their um, just easily how easily they are manipulated. So that is the news for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, wait till you see the Man on the Street Monday videos coming soon. Every Monday, if you're new to my work, every Monday I do Man on the Street Monday videos where I just go and talk to your average American and uh, try to convince them to do or say or agree to certain things that nobody in their right mind, nobody with any common sense or half a brain should even consider doing. But these people just sign their name to the petitions. Yep, name, birth date, and signature. Two of the petitions to repeal the Bill of Rights, uh, just to do all kinds of crazy things. Go and check those out. Just search the YouTube channel, search the playlists, search the previous videos. If you want more information on HARP or on the um, technology that could very well be used to stage the appearance of the counterfeit Christ, you can read my book, The Illuminati Facts and Fiction. Or Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True, available in paperback on Amazon.com, ebook on iBooks, Kindle Nook, Google Play, etc., uh, where I cover this in more detail. But again, you, you try to tell this to your average zombie, and they just don't have the brain power to believe it. They just cannot understand, can't grasp it, can't believe it. 
They just need those quick images, those quick cut, cut, cut um, of their entertainment news. They just need to see the beautiful people just tapping into their most primitive desires, letting their mind just run idle while the elite Illuminati run the show and keep the population out of the way. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. You can hit me up on Twitter and Facebook, and there's more videos coming soon. stems from a satire website, the Internet Chronicle, claiming that Edward Snowden had revealed documents about HARP, and uh, just a simple Internet search here reveals that countless people picked up the story with the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, the weather modification device, the mind control machine that beams uh, radio frequency waves into the atmosphere. Uh, this story is false, it, without doing 10 seconds worth of research on it. Snowden reveals HARP's assassination agenda. You know, Snow Snowden discusses HARP chemtrails secret base, links included. You know, he just goes on and on. The story is being spread claiming Edward Snowden, the NSA whistleblower, has released information about HARP.